Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. The Skyfire mobile browser is now available for your iPhone and iPod Touch. It allows you to play Flash video in the browser. There's a lot of caveats to it though, and we're going to cover all of that in this video. So let's take a look. So starting off, Skyfire will cost you $2.99. Although Skyfire calls this the early adopter discount, implying that the price is going to go up in the near future, maybe to $5 or so. By the end of this video, you'll know if you should be spending your money on Skyfire or waiting until it gets a little bit better. So Skyfire's main claim to fame is that it can do flash video. It can't do any other kind of flash. So you can't play flash games or interact with flash sites that have any level of interactivity. It's video only. And we're gonna talk about that in this video. So first, let's talk about how Skyfire fares as just a general purpose browser. Here we, are, here we are on Pocket Now. I'm going to go to the main page. We're going to see how long it takes to load. I'm on a very fast Wi-Fi network here. Usually this page takes about five or six seconds to load in Safari. Let's see how it does in Skyfire. Okay, so that was about 15 seconds, so about two times longer, maybe three times longer than Safari. We can flick down the page. Performance is usually good when flicking down the page. Once in a while, it gets stuck, and you may see what I mean. Now, let's go to a page that has Flash content. We can double-click to zoom in, and it nicely reflows the column. We can also use multi-touch sometimes um, if it wants to behave. So let's zoom in on this headline and uh, take a look at some of the Flash content that is included in this particular post. So we're gonna tap on that. It's gonna load the uh, permalink there. Now let me talk about the buttons along the bottom while that's loading. So we have a button plus button here, just like you get in Safari. You can add a bookmark, you can share it, use Facebook Quick View. This one over here is pretty cool. It's kind of like a rate related content tool. And if I tap on it, the button will intelligently look at terms on the page. And within this page, uh, we had some content about the Droid 2. So it picked that out, and if we tap on Droid 2, it will take you to another page that will try to query the web, Twitter, and YouTube, and all kinds of places for information about this term. Kind of a cool way to get more information about something. So here we have a, a video of the Droid 2, some pictures of the Droid 2, some news, swipe to the right to filter it out by videos or trends, tweets, or images. So just a cool feature if you want to find more information about a particular topic. So we're going to dial back here and see how the page has progressed. So here we are on the page, and when you get flash video on a particular page, the way that Skyfire tells you is that there's a little picture of a video down here. And if you tap on that, it will bring up a preview of the video. And when you press play, it's going to play it in the sort of Skyfire uh, video player. And we're going to cover video with another site, one that has more action, because this particular video doesn't have much action. So let's go to the tab management, and we're going to open up a new page. And the new page defaults to my.skyfire.com, which will show you some well-optimized sites that you should use um, when you're using Skyfire. So here, South Park Studios, which is a place where you can go to get all episodes of South Park, is optimized. So we can go into landscape, although sometimes it takes a good three or four seconds for Skyfire to respond. And let's try to watch an episode of South Park here. So I'm going to press play. Looks like I missed that. That's on a carousel. Zoom in. Go down to any old episode here. And let it load up. Now again, we see an hourglass down here, and it's going to turn into a video sign, implying that we can actually play uh, some of the video on the page here. Still thinking. I guess I'll continue along the bottom uh, since we stopped with the related video. There's the pop-up. We also have the tab management. This is your bookmark manager and, of course, the back button. So here we are. We'll pl press play and try to play this, this video of South Park. Rendering video on the Skyfire player for, for the Flash content takes a long time, sometimes up to 30, 45 seconds. In fact, sometimes I wish I would just stick to the Safari browser because that uses the dedicated YouTube player. It takes you out of Safari, but it's still a lot faster than this is. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back when this is ready to go so you can get a sense for the video quality of this Flash player in Skyfire. 
Okay, and about 30 seconds later, it says unable to play video. Uh, this has been happening all day with South Park Studio, so we're gonna have to go to another site to show you what the video capability looks like. So again, we're gonna open up my.skyfire.com and scroll down to one of these. Let's go to, say, um, MTV music videos. Those are flash based, so we can presumably watch a music video here on the iPhone. So it's loading. And we've got some things going on. Let's try to find uh, some music videos. So we can zoom in over here. I see it says full episodes. Maybe we can see an episode of the Jersey Shore or something like that. So I'm actually going to stop it because it's taking a little bit too long. So we're going to tap on full episodes, see where that takes us. There's a little settings button up here. And from here, you get a little drop down. You can load the page as desktop or iPhone view, turn on and off private browsing and go into uh, some basic browser settings. So here we are, full episodes. Let's zoom in, world of Jenks. And let's try to play this video right here on the iPhone. So it says video requires latest flash player and it looks like the little video icon is going to pop up because you get the hourglass, so that's good. Okay, so here it is, video. We're gonna press play and see if we can watch this episode of World of Jenks. It's flash video on the iPhone. And here's another instance of where the video is not playing. So it looks like we're not gonna have good luck today in getting this to work, although this is probably um, indicative of sort of the, the beta-likeness of this program. It's not really ready uh, for prime time. We'll give it one more attempt at another website. We'll go to um, abc.com, which has some video, of course. Here we go, we're gonna watch episodes again. So try to zoom in a little bit and tap on that. Let's see what we can do here. Dancing with the Stars, sure, why not? All right, it says, you know, back here, it says download the free ABC player to watch the ABC shows on your, on your, on your iPad. I don't have an iPad here, so I want to actually dive into this video. Although usually when you see this screen, it means it's not going to play. So uh, I'll cut back in a second and maybe it'll play, but probably not. Okay, good. We're going to get some video here finally. Dancing with the Stars, it is buffering and loading. Hopefully the focus clears up a little bit. And let's see what the quality is like with Dancing with the Stars flash video through Skyfire. Let's take a look. Okay, so here is a commercial, which should give you a sense of the, of the video quality. The quality, I've got to tell you, is very poor. Uh, it's very pixelated. In fact, looking at um, YouTube videos through Safari is a far superior experience to looking at flash video here on Skyfire. Screen rotation is slow. Overall, we can't recommend that you pay money for Skyfire right now. It's buggy, it's slow, it doesn't play flash video that well. It doesn't let you interact with flash content. You're better off sticking with Safari for now and waiting until this gets better um, because right now it's just not ready for prime time. So unfortunately, we can't recommend Skyfire. Please thumbs up to this video if you like the idea of flash video in, in an iOS device and thanks for watching. That's it for now.